In this lesson, we're going to look at using one cut file in two different ways to create two different looks on your layouts. So you can get two layouts out of one cut file that have different looks and different techniques. So let's get started. So now I have Silhouette Studio open on my laptop and it's connected to my Silhouette Cameo. And I'm going to get ready to open up my cut file. And I already have this cut file ready. So I'm just going to go to the little folder and open it and search for it. It's on my desktop. So I'm just going to scroll and find where my cut file is. And I have it right here, so I'm going to open the PNG into Silhouette Studio. So now that I have it, I'm going to trace it. And I'm going to use the trace feature to do that. So I'm going to go to Object, and I'm going to click Trace. And that's going to open my trace window. So I'm going to do Select Trace Area, and I'm just going to use my mouse to highlight over the image. And once I do that, I'm going to go to the High Pass Filter um, box, and I'm going to uncheck that. And once I do that, I can do Trace under Apply Trace Method. And then I can just move my original image and delete that because I won't be using it. So next what I want to do is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for my page. So I'm just going to resize to make the star shape just bigger, just to be kind of in the center of your layout. And maybe just a bit bigger here. I like to have large elements on my layouts and that's why I like cutting files and having the Silhouette Cameo, it gives you that 12 by 12 size to make those big elements for your layouts if you like to work with the 12 by 12 size. So now that I have it ready, I'm ready to cut it. And so I have some pattern paper that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna add that to my mat to load into the machine. And we're actually gonna use the positive and negative of this cut file. So you'll see what we're gonna do with that in just a minute after we get finished cutting. So I'm gonna load my cut mat into the machine. And since we're using pattern paper, we wanna check and make sure that our blade is set to three for pattern paper and it is. So we can put that back in our blade housing. And then I want to go to my settings, my cut settings, and make sure that it's also set to pattern paper. So we're just going to go down and change that to the pattern paper setting before we send to Silhouette. And so now that we have that ready, we can just go ahead and send to our machine. So now I have my star cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do um, this is a template to kind of add the positive star pieces back in. So I'm going to take off the cut star very carefully so that I don't rip any of the pieces. So I'm just going to grab each of my points. And I want the positive shaped stars to stay on my mat for right now because we're going to actually flip this over onto our white cardstock base. And then I'm going to go in and add the little stars back in these spots. And then I'm going to pull this piece off and use it on a second layout in just a minute. So we're gonna get all of this pulled off. So now that I have it off, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip it over this way because I want to use the underside of these stars on this page. So now I'm gonna start adding the positive stars back into the shape here. So I just added a little bit of adhesive to the back of the star and then you can just go back in and place it right here in the little spots where it's open. And so I'm just going to do a few of those to show you what it looks like once we pull it up. I'm just going to add, and you can see I'm flipping over to the pattern on the other side, and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive and stick that one. So this way, if you leave it on the mat, then you know where it goes on your star shape. And we'll grab this one here. And you just want to keep pulling those up and adding them in. And if you wanted to have a variety of color, you could use a different um, paper that has a um, different uh, pattern on the back side, maybe with stripes or something like that to get a lot of different colors. Now, before I pull this up, I want to show you something else that I did. Um, I wanted to add some different texture around this. So I actually stitch around the star with some embroidery floss. So before I pulled it up on my layout, I actually traced around the star image with a pencil and just go around those edges because I'm gonna use that as a template as I'm working on my layout to add some stitching. And we actually did that in an earlier lesson if you wanna check out that technique for adding the stitching to your layout. So you can just see that I'm going around with the pencil around each of the points of the star. I wanna make sure I get all of those back up to the top. Just make sure you hold it in place so that you're edges don't shift and we've got that one already so now I can pull this up just to show you what it looks like as you're placing your stars back in and you can see how it's going to create that star shape with the positive shapes that you cut 
all together and then you have your lines to go in and add your stitching later on. And so you can see here, this is what my finished layout looks like for the first part, how I have the stars, the positive shapes in that star shape with the stitching around it and just embellished around the outside edge of the star. So after I finish my first layout with the star, I still have this left. So this is great to use on a second layout without having to waste your cut file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add some adhesive to this back side because I want the text um, pattern to be the front of my star. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive along the edges here of the star. So now I have all of the adhesive on the back. So I'm just gonna place this over the striped paper and I'm just gonna kinda line it up straight so that that pattern just kinda is straight across there. So this is not how I'm actually gonna use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this. So now I'm ready to cut. So I'm just gonna take a small pair of scissors and since I have this here, I can just go around and cut around these edges. So now I have my pattern paper behind my star shape. So I'm just gonna add some more adhesive to this because I want to put this on a pattern paper background paper. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive there and make sure I get my point where I want it and add that kind of to the center of my layout and just kind of get it lined up there. And so now I want to kind of add my photo just to the middle of the star. So I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back of it and just kind of get that in the middle and you'll see on my layout, finished layout in just a minute, I kind of added my title and just layered it over the photo here. And I also wanted to create kind of a contrasting shape since I had the star um, repeated. So I kind of used some embellishments around to create kind of a circle design. So if you wanted to just take a different, um, different kinds of embellishments like chipboard, brads, and just kind of add those in a circular design around your, your large star, and that's gonna create just a different look around the page. And I just kind of mixed um, different shapes and different colors around the star as I went along. Um, I also used some enamel dots just to get those different textures and different embellishments um, around your star shape. And I like to use the different sizes of the enamel dots and the different colors. So I used a medium and a small, so I could do a large one. And you can see here how I finished mine. I actually did, um, did some machine stitching first, just to add that circle shape, and then used my embellishment stickers, chipboard, brads, enamel, enamel dots, just to go around that. And I also added some stickers kind of layered over the star. So you can see how we created two different looks using the same cut file on these two layouts.